Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some kids lunchbox ideas for school. I'm packing for my son who's in kindergarten and my daughter who is in the second grade. Now I'm gonna say this in every lunchbox video just in case there's someone new watching because it is so important and that is to always prime your thermos before adding the food. So I just boil a pot of water, add it, add the lids and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. So on this day, I cooked them up some of these Tyson heart-shaped chicken nuggets, just threw them in the oven. And while those were baking, I went ahead and prepared them a little snack box. So my kids absolutely love these cotton candy grapes. The only place that I can find it where I live is at Kroger. I don't buy them all the time, just every now and then. And if you have never had them before, it's basically just a green grape with just a slight hint of cotton candy flavor. It's not overpowering, but you can definitely taste it. They're super unique. Um, and I like to cut those with my little grape cutter for a peace of mind. I'm also going to give them each a mozzarella cheese stick. I just cut those in half. I also gave them some cheese balls. I buy this huge container from my local Save-A-Lot, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them at basically any grocery store I've been to, but just the perfect little snack. And normally I would throw in a tiny little treat, but this was on Valentine's Day and I knew there would be parties, lots of sweet treats, so I just threw in some strawberries. So back to the thermoses. The chicken nuggets are out of the oven. I dumped out that hot water and I'm just going under the paper towel to get all the excess moisture off. I don't always do that. It just depends on what I'm throwing in the thermos. Um, but since it's a dry food and I don't want it to get soggy, that's why I wiped it out. But I gave each of them six nuggets. They are such chicken nugget lovers and it always goes over well. This is something that they always really look forward to. So I'm gonna give each of them a gator Raid zero in the yellow flavor. Now, I'm not the mom that writes a note every day. I wish I was, but I'm usually rushing. But like I said, this was Valentine's Day, so I did want to make it a little extra special, so I did throw one in. I also try to pack them up a water bottle on most days to sit at their desk. I do have issues with them actually bringing the cups back, um, but they love these little water enhancers. I like the Simply Clear ones from Walmart. They only have two flavors at mine though. It's the strawberry watermelon or grape, but it really helps them to actually drink it. So here we are at the end of the day to see what they actually ended up eating. Boston didn't touch his Gatorade, but he ate all of his food. He did really good. I just, I don't know what he drank. Riley did the same thing. She didn't touch her Gatorade. That's super unlike them. I'm thinking it has something to do with those Valentine's Day parties. Um, she didn't touch her string cheese. She's the type where one month she'll eat one every single day, and then she'll go a couple months where she hates them. Um, and then she left two and a half chicken nuggets. This was a day where my son wanted the school lunch, but my daughter didn't. So I'm just packing for her. She loves these little mini sub buns. They are the perfect size for her. And it's like her number one favorite lunch. She packs this pretty often. Um, so I'm just slowing it up with some black forest ham, pickles, and a slice of sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm just gonna put that in a Ziploc bag. I absolutely love that she loves sandwiches so much. It just makes it so easy. My son, the only one he will eat is a peanut butter and jelly. He's definitely a little bit harder to pack for. But to go along with that, I'm going to pack her some of these pizza flavored Pringles. I remember those from my childhood. I used to love those. Um, I'm also going to throw in a strawberry gogurt and just one piece of chocolate that she had from her Valentine's Day basket that we got her. It's just a lint truffle, um, a white chocolate with strawberry in the middle. And I'm also going to throw in a Glacier Cherry um, Gatorade and then of course her water. I got that bottle from Myers recently. Um, so here's how she did. She drank about half of that Gatorade. I love packing those since it comes with a lid. I can easily stick it back in the fridge. She ate all of her sandwich, all of her yogurt, and about half of those Pringles. On this day, I made them another one of their favorite school lunches, and that is just some basic spaghetti. They have been preferring the rotini pasta lately over the spaghetti noodles. They just think it's funner, and it's definitely a lot easier for them to eat. Um, I found this canning funnel at Walmart for really cheap, and that is what I use to 
help me get the food in there without making a complete mess. One of you guys gave me that tip and it has been a complete game changer. Um, but they love Parmesan cheese on top of their pasta and I actually ran out. So luckily I found a couple of these leftover Fazoli Parmesan packs. So that is what I added on top. But yeah, here is your reminder that it is 100% okay to make really simple lunches for your kid and for them to be repetitive because I know in my experience, the fancier I try to be with my kids, the less likely they are to actually eat it. So that's why I don't make so many like kids lunchbox videos because it is pretty repetitive, but I mean, I know you guys like to see them, so here I am. Uh, for their snacks, I just gave them some sliced strawberries, and they really love these great value brand fiber brownies. They just see them as regular brownies, and it is a pantry staple for us. Um, so for their drinks, again, they're getting a Glacier Cherry Gatorade Zero. Um, I gave them a napkin and a fork, of course, and a not-so-fun fact. This was the last time I saw that brand-new pink water bottle. She has lost it. We have looked everywhere. I hate when that happens, but what can you do? Um, so here's how we did. Um, you didn't get to see Boston's lunchbox because Josh unpacked it and rinsed it out because he didn't know I was filming it, but he said it was empty. But luckily, I caught him before we got to Riley's, and as you can see, she ate absolutely everything. Something else that I have discovered that goes over really well with my kids to take to school is chicken noodle soup. And look at how cute these labels are with the little snowmen. I figured I better get those used up because spring is coming up quick. We have been having some really nice warm days here in Kentucky. It has been awesome. Um, but yeah, I primed the thermoses. I heated the chicken noodle soup up one by one in the microwave and then added it in. Y'all, I don't know what I would do if thermoses were not a thing. They are just such a great tool for lunch boxes. So many possibilities. But I tried out a new snack with them. I found these chocolate tortillas at Walmart. You can like smell them through the package. They smell so good and chocolatey. And I'm just smearing a good layer of peanut butter on them. And I'm just going to take a ripe banana, place it in the middle, and then just tightly roll it up. I was really nervous about this snack. This is the first time I had packed this up for them. I was nervous about it for two reasons. For one, they can be really picky when it comes to anything tortilla related unless it's like a taco so I didn't call it a tortilla for that reason I just told them it was a chocolate wrap and also I have never done anything with like unpeeled bananas in a lunchbox because I know that as soon as they are exposed to air they turn brown pretty quickly and kind of mushy um, but I figured that you know if they were covered up like they were with a tortilla that it would work out well so I was taking a leap of faith here I did decide to cut off the ends of it so that not too much was hanging out that could turn brown and don't worry didn't throw those away I definitely nibbled on it but y'all they ended up absolutely loving these they bragged on them all day said they wanted them every day so I'm really glad that I gave that a try because it's really hard to find new things for them to pack. Um, I also decided to pack them a little snack size bag of these colored goldfish. I figured that that would pair really well with the chicken noodle soup. I figured if they wanted to, they could throw it on in the thermos and have like crackers with their soup. But here it is all packed up. They got their ice packs to keep their drink cold. Um, I just did some mini water bottles this day. I am throwing in a spoon. And then since this could possibly get messy, again, we got the leftover birthday party napkins so here we are after they came back both of their lunch boxes were a mess definitely had a deep clean those but Boston ate everything there was just a little bit of broth left in the bottom of his and I asked him where a spoon was he put it in that zipper pocket so as for Riley, all of her packages were empty. There was just a few little goldfish floating in the bottom. Her spoon did come back and she completely drank her chicken noodle soup dry. Okay, so lastly, I tried out something else that was new. My kids love sausage, so I really wanted to try out these little mini sausage pancake muffins. So for the batter, you need three-fourths a cup of milk, one egg, two tablespoons of maple syrup, a splash of vanilla extract, and then two tablespoons of melted butter, which I did let slightly cool. That way I didn't scramble the eggs, but I gave that a quick mix to break up the egg. And now I'm going to start adding in the dry ingredients. So that's just a tablespoon of sugar, one cup of some all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm mixing that just until it's combined. 
Now, I don't expect anybody to remember all that. So if you're interested, this recipe will be linked in my description box. So I have my little mini muffin pan. I have sprayed it with some Pam nonstick cooking spray. And now I'm just gonna start spooning this batter in. So I'm just doing like a large spoon and I'm just adding in one spoonful to each little muffin cup. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this pancake batter is definitely on the thinner side. I honestly think it could use a little bit more flour um, because it was a little bit messy. Um, and also, I did have some leftover batter after I filled this pan. I had enough batter left over to make like one large pancake. But I will say this is a really, really good pancake batter mix because um, I had that pancake for my breakfast and it was really, really delicious. Honestly, probably one of the best like pancake batters I have made. Um, although it was, like I said, on the thinner side. Um, also I recommend that if you do decide to make this, to do this like the night before, that way the morning of, you can just like zap these in the microwave for 30 seconds and they'll be good to go. That was my original plan, but that is not how it worked out. And this isn't just something that I would prefer to do that early in the morning, so I will plan better next time. But anyways, as for the sausage, I have six sausage links that I just cooked up in the air fryer, and you will need to take each one and cut it into four sections. That way you will have 24 small pieces to fit perfectly in your muffin pan. So here I am just adding them in one by one. I started by setting them straight up. Um, that's a little bit tricky when it is a thin batter. So by the end of it, I just started kind of throwing them in there, letting them fall sideways because it truly does not matter. But if your kids does not like sausage, you could do this with some cooked chopped bacon. I think that would be really good. Um, you could even make it meat free you could do fruit um, strawberries blueberries you could also do chocolate chips really there is so many options just anything that you would like to add into a regular pancake but I am going to bake these at 350 degrees mine took about 11 minutes but here they are straight from the oven these popped out really nicely which is always the best and I did give each of the kids five of them since they are on the smaller side and both of them wanted to try them as soon as they came out of the oven as soon as I was done with this clip and they both really really love them and Josh tried these when he got home from work and loved them. And I warmed some up this morning and they are really good. I gave them each syrup. Boston isn't really a syrup person, but I wanted to add it just in case he wanted to try it. I gave them both some white cheddar Cheez-Its and they're also splitting a Cara Cara orange. I have started storing my oranges in the refrigerator to make them like really cold when you go to eat them. And my family, including me, likes them so much more that way. My daughter will not even eat oranges like this, before I started doing that, but now she just loves it. Um, so there's just a little tip. If you want to get your kids to eat oranges, maybe try it that way. But I'm also giving them some shredded mozzarella cheese. They love to snack on shredded cheese. Um, but here's a quick little overview of their bento boxes. I gave them each a Capri Sun and they got their ice packs in the little pockets to keep their drink cold. And they are off to school. Let's see how they did. So Riley's drink is gone. Let's open up her box. It is completely empty. She ate everything. It was a huge hit. She loved it. And now let's see how Boston did. This shocked me. He did not touch his little sausage bites. And I know that he liked them because he loved them the morning of. So either he just didn't want to have them again for lunch, which I understand. Uh, maybe he didn't like the temperature of them. I don't know. Um, or maybe he's getting sick. I really hope not. But that does wrap up this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see y'all in the next video.